Welcome to the third video in the Metric Math Water and Wastewater video series. This video is going to be taking a look at how do you convert flow rates from liters per minute, liters per second, to any other uh, flow rate like megaliters per day or cubic meters per minute or, and vice versa. Uh, you'll also provide some example problems, two of them in fact, uh, to introduce the concept of unit conversion and that'll be very helpful to confirm in the future ones if you're actually doing your math correctly. So let's get started. So the basic units for flow rates are liters per second, LPM or liters per minute, or L slash M, liters divided by minute, uh, or cubic meters per second, or cubic meters per minute, a really common one is a very large quantity called megaliters per day. So a big quantity of liquid over a big period of time. Now there may be some other ones, but these are the basic ones that we're going to start off with. Now the key thing that you have to remember when you're doing these um, conversions is do the units cancel out? Every number has to have a unit, every unit has to have a number. If you don't have those, you're going to be guessing, should you multiply or should you divide? And sorry, but guessing usually ends up, at least some of the time, guessing wrong. So we want to try and prevent that. When we look at some of these basic problems, again, the ability to convert from megaliters to cubic meters to liters from how many days, how many minutes, how many hours, how many seconds, that becomes really important. So now you're taking a look at the question, and the first thing you have to take a look at is, what are you trying to find? Well, in this case, what's the flow rate in, what's the unit, liters per second? So that's what we're trying to find, it's the unknown. What is known? What do you know? What has been measured? Well, you know that this particular plant is producing 2.8 megaliters is a quantity of volume in a time period like megaliters per day. So let's do some first off some simple conversions. We know that we have to convert from megaliters to liters and in one of the previous videos you remembered hopefully that megaliters if you're going to go to liters, you have to move the decimal not three spots. If you were going to cubic meters, it would be three decimal places to the right. But in this case, you're going six decimal places to the right. So 2.8 megaliters equals 2,800,000 liters. Okay, so that's a pretty basic conversion. The next one that we have to do is convert one day, because that's what it's being asked, 2.8 megaliters in one day. How many seconds is in that day. So here's where we introduce the concept of unit conversion. So we start off with one day. And the next unit of time is uh, hours. There's 24. There's, there's more. Uh, 24 is bigger than one. So there's 24 hours in one day. Now if you start with one day and you convert to hours Notice the days disappear, they cancel out. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 10 is 1, A divided by A is 1, day divided by day is 1. So you've got one day, it's now equal to 24 hours, but that's not what we want. We want to get to seconds. So next unit of time from days to hours is minutes. And you multiply your 24 by 60 and you know that you have to multiply because you have hours in the top and you have hours in the bottom. You have to cancel those out and so now you're left with 60 minutes times 24 hours and that'll give you a number. But we're not at the correct final unit until we multiply the minutes by 60 seconds in each minute for one minute. The units cancel out and now we are equaling a big, big number. 86,400 seconds. Now that's a whole bunch 
of tiny little quantities of time. 86,400 seconds is equal to one day. So let's check to see if our units are correct. Oh, look at that. We've got seconds on either side of the equal sign. And equals means the same. So because the units cancel out, then the number must be correct. So now what do we do with that 2,800,000 liters? and the 86,400 seconds. Like, what do we do with those? Well, when we go to the next step, we have to figure out, okay, what does L slash S mean? L is a volume. And notice slash means divided by. That's what that symbol means. And S means divided by a time. So do we have the liters? Yes, 2,800,000 liters. Do we have a time? Yeah, we have 86,400. And because we have those values, now we can do a very, very simple division. 2,800,000 liters divided by, that's what that slant means in the unit above, and divided by the time, which is 86,400 seconds, and you end up with a answer, which is approximately 32 0.41 liters per second. So over the span of one day, you have 2.8 million liters or 2.8 megaliters zipping by over a 24 hour time period. Now, sometimes it's going to be a little bit faster, sometimes it's going to be a little bit slower, but on average, each second there is about 32.4 liters going through this particular water plant. Well, you were given megaliters and you had to find liters per second. Now what happens if you're given liters per minute? Notice it's a little different unit than we had before. And now we have to find, well, how much water in one day is this particular plant going to produce? So the first thing that we have to do is identify what are the units? Megaliters per day and liters per minute. So one minute, there's going to be 227.5 liters. Two minutes, there's going to be twice that much. Ten minutes, there's going to be ten times that amount. So we're going to have to find out how many minutes are in one day. Once you've found out how many minutes are in one day, then you can multiply however many minutes there are in one day, multiplied by that 227.5 liters per minute. And... Once you have the liters, well, then you can convert from liters slash day or liters per day. You can do that conversion by moving the decimal place to megaliters per day. So how many minutes in one day? Well, you've got one day, we want to convert it to minutes. So we want to get rid of that day. So let's multiply it by 24 hours in one day. Notice how the day unit disappears and you are left with 24 hours, but that's not the right unit. Hours does not equal minutes. Multiply 24 hours by 60 minutes, cancel out the units, and you are now left with minutes on both sides of the equal sign. So if the units cancel out, you must be doing your math correctly. So 24 times 60 is approximately 1,440 minutes in one day. So now we know how many minutes there are in a day, and we know how many uh, liters flows through in each minute. So now we can set up a canceling situation. Now we start off with what's given, and in this case, it's how many minutes. We know the time period in minutes. Now, let's just take care of the units first. We can always put in the numbers later on. What do we need to find? We need to find how many liters in one day, because from there we can convert liters to megaliters. And what's the conversion that we're going to be using? Well, how many liters in each minute? So now that the units are in there, we can start confirming on both sides of the equal sign. Yes, the units are the same. 
Now let's put some numbers in. 1440 minutes multiplied by 227.5 liters in each minute. Once that's done, we, we are going to get an answer, which is about 327,600 liters. But that is not the right final unit. We want to get to megaliters per day. So we learned in the first video that to go from liters to cubic meters, you move the decimal three spots to the left. And so that's 327 cubic meters. Move it another three spots to the left, and that works out to approximately 0.327 megaliters per day. Okay, so we know that that's how many liters in one day, so that's how many megaliters there are in one day. So, summary to take a look at this particular uh, concept. Whenever you're converting from one quantity or one flow rate to another time period, megaliters per day, big volume, big time, converting that to small quantity, small time, make sure you know where you're starting, make sure you know where you're going, and then Divide the big problem into little mini steps so that you can take care of one step. In this case, it was converting your, uh, how many hours there, there are, how many minutes there are, how many seconds there were in a given time period, and then converting your volumes to the appropriate amount. Remember this last point, the bigger the time period, in this case, as the time period got bigger, like an hour is bigger than a minute, a minute is bigger than a second, so the bigger the time period, the more flow you're going to have. So in summary, um, I hope that this particular video uh, worked out for you. Thanks for watching it. And uh, please come and check out some of the other videos in this series. Uh, hopefully the examples that you see here, the two examples are going to be uh, helpful when you take a look at some of the other uh, challenging type of uh, questions or, or uh, concepts in uh, some of your studying. If you're getting ready for an exam or you can actually use it in your work site. Uh, I invite you to take a look at some of the other videos in this series. Please uh, leave some comments if you can. Good luck to you in your uh, further studies here. Uh, goodbye for now and uh, have a good day.